Hello everybody, how is it going? Welcome to your daily dose of MechWarrior Online. Today I'm playing the Cicada. It's the Cicada 3M with the ECM and the Ballistic Hardpoint in the left torso. So what I'm having here is a very nice skirmish and backstabbing mech. And I will show you in a second why. So first of all, we've got the Guardian ECM. So we are kind of invisible from the enemy radar. Also, we have an Ultra AC5, which has a very decent range. So we can get ourselves some cover and fire from behind. And this is what we are going to do today. Also, the Ultra AC5 has very good quirks here. As you can see, 20% ballistic velocity helps with targeting. The cooldown is awesome, plus 20%. And we've got, most importantly, the UAC jam chance of minus 30%. So you can pump out a lot of AC5 shells in a very short amount of time without jamming too often. Uh, you will jam occasionally, but uh, not too often. Uh, for the backup weapons, I chose four medium lasers. These are dealing 20 damage combined. So they are very good backup weapons once the ammo is gone. And as you can see, I only have two and a half tons of ammo. That is uh, not that much. And yeah, having a bit of damage amplification from the mediums is uh, quite crucial. I have an XL Engine 270. Uh, it's not the biggest engine that one can carry, but this one has the ECM and you can rely on that pretty much rather than on speed. And the Cicada is still quite fast with its 109.4 uh, kph. Uh, only one double heatsink, but that is barely enough, so 1.31 is, is decent. Not, not the best heat management, but it's okay, again. And I had to strip the arms a bit, so I'm... Uh, not sure if if it is uh, if it has any good. Maybe you could drop the heatsink and up the arms uh, more for torso twisting. But again, you have that ECM and you can get out of trouble pretty easily. For the modules, I chose advanced seismic sensor. So no no radar deprivation this time because we have the ECM. Of course, we are shielded by that. And uh, knowing what's going on around you on close range is very good with the advanced seismic sensor. Also got the medium laser cooldown and the medium laser range modules because. Uh, at some point the auto cannon will run out of ammo and then the medium lasers are good for brawling. Uh, the last slot would probably target info gathering, maybe. Uh, I don't think that any other modules would be very handy here. And uh, the consumables are an improved UAV and a cool shot 9x9. So, and that's the build. I hope you will enjoy the video and uh, if you do, don't forget to leave a rating or subscribe to the channel if you want more of this. And now it's time to hit the battlefield. All right, we are playing Crimson Strait, we are playing Skirmish, and I'm doing the flanking attempt. The good thing about Skirmish is that we can easily push into the enemy lines uh, if we have started on the other side. Crap, ah, I was about to tell that you could go over to uh, Delta 5, Charlie 5, because the enemy will arrive from here probably. Most of them are going this way. Uh, Delta 7, Charlie 6, Delta 5, that way. And if you can position yourself here, then you have a very good spot just disrupting their movement and stuff. But since we are starting on the other side, uh, I'm just going over the saddle. Uh, maybe I can yeah, get some back strikes here. I really want to do some, some uh, guerrilla tactics here. Going to arrest them, going to drive them away from me, or maybe hunt me, something like that. But I want to split them up. I really want to split the enemy team up. And since I'm having ECM and a decent speed, it is it is okay. So I can get out and uh, get myself some cover if they decide to push in on me. And uh, this is the whole plan here. Let's hope that it works out. So... So I'm going over the saddle to disrupt them a bit. Be prepared for a good push when I call it into you. Is it okay? Can I go for So I just want to get behind them. Gonna do the sneaky stuff. And the build is very versatile, I have to say. So you have that long range Ultra AC5. Can put out a lot of damage uh, in a very short amount of time. It's not a big pinpoint damage weapon because uh, it's only five damage over and over again and it will spread a bit because the aim is not perfect and all the stuff. There they are. Good. Okay, I got him a rather distracted. Or we. Okay, the auto cannon is jammed. They're in the tunnel. Uh, some of them turned around towards us. 
Uh, we have a Cyclops. All right. So this is a big, bad, chunky assault mech that can help out, out a ton here. So let's check it out. Are they still there? We pushed him heavily into the tunnel. And let's get out of here. Good. That was the best timing ever. Could get off that volley off the Better mediums. On the water's edge. Echo four. Oh, he has Gauss rifles. Also, my AC is jammed again. Uh, let's get out of line of sight. And it's up again. All right. Good. And our Cyclops is wrecking stuff. Good. Nice. That was a good start. Push the tunnel, we are behind them. Get in now. Push, push, push. Okay. I switched to chain fire right now. And I need to get out of here. So, you please focus the Cyclops. And then I'm going in again. God, that escalated so hard here. That was really good. So our flanking, it worked out so fine here. I'm very satisfied. This is how I like to play the Cicada here. And can we help here? Oh, that is huge. That's a huge force. Good. Get some damage out again. I don't want to shoot my buddies though. I'm in his back. Yeah, that's good. This is a total stomp here. Nine and three. Look at that, everybody. Hey, I got even a kill. Whoops. Is that enough? And another kill. <laughs> oh man, 19 shells on the AC still and uh, I ran the heat scale just at maximum. That was good. That was a really nice round. I'm, again, very satisfied with that. King Crab is calling for help, so probably a light mech. Where you at, King? Just on his ass. Yeah. Got your Shadow Cat, so Fox 5. Fox 5. There he is. Didn't see him. Hey, he dodged my shots. But yeah, I guess it's over in a second. So where does the Shadow Cat go? And it's jammed again. Crap. But we still have the mediums. It's fine. He overheated and down he goes. Wow, that was a really good round. I'm so happy that it worked. So let's have a look at the end score. I think we are very good in damage. So maybe 600, something like that. Yeah, 600 uh, or 589 damage to kills. Got two kills damage dealt, seven assists, and two components destroyed. That was the first game. Let's get over to the next one. Maybe we can even beat this damage score here. All right, let's go ahead and do the second game. We are playing Crimson Straight. We are playing Domination. And I kind of feel that I play Crimson Straight very often now. It seems to be a very popular map lately. I don't know why. Uh, I'm actually not a big fan of it. Uh, I like the smaller maps, uh, like HPG and stuff. Uh, actually, that is not that big. What am I telling you here? Huh, anyway, uh, again, not a big fan of Crimson Straight. I don't like the dynamics of the tunnel pushes and the, the platform stuff. It's, it's not a thing I enjoy. So, uh, what are we going to do? Probably going to flank. That's what this mech is good at, so let's do it. Going uh, to get over here, get into the backs probably. Let's try to backstep them. So, um, I'm going to go to backstep them, uh, going to flank. Is somebody following me? Maybe a medium or light mech? That would be awesome. Maybe we can pull it off again. So in the first game it, it worked out pretty fine and uh, maybe we can repeat that. I hope so. Also I'm going to switch to heat vision here just to see if anything is close by. I don't want any surprises. Mm, maybe a fallen behind assault mech or so. So going to make sure that I can spot him very easily. And uh, it seems that nobody is here. Good. So let's go ahead and get into the tunnel then. And... No, I'm too late. <laughs> oh well. Target. Oh, there's a guy. Get crapped. Okay. 
I'm not sure if he has backup. He has. Okay. My auto cannon is jammed anyway. Going to pop a UAV here yeah, just to make sure that they don't follow me. And uh, then I'm getting back to my team. Can I hit that? Whatever it is. Uh, apparently I can. And I'm jammed again. Good. Now we have a Phoenix Hawk. Two ERP PCs. Perfect target. Let's get him. This is what I want. This is not what I want. So I'm going to cut it here. Get back to cover. I'm going to distract him a bit from here. So, yeah, just turning their faces around. Hoping that uh, I create some space for my team. So the problem is, I'm not that super fast in my mech here. If they are close enough, or if they sick a light mech on me, then I'm having a bit of trouble. Oh, let's see. Oh, yeah, Phoenix Hawk. Kodiak. Oh, let's get out of here. Good. So a skirmish is working out pretty fine, and now they, they're going for me. All right. That was a quick draw, probably. I can outrun him, definitely. But I need, yeah, I need to be very careful right now. I'm gonna choose my path very carefully. So going around here, I hope that he is, ah, crap, yeah, he anticipated my movement. That is not good. Um, I guess I'm dead. Except, yeah, I made it, okay. <laughs> I have a quick draw on my ass, Delta 6, and the exit of, my, of the tunnel. Could you please check it? Uh, apparently not. Good, and I'm turning around. Exit of the tunnel, Delta 6, 3 max. Kill him. Good. Okay, I'm hot. Oh, you shut down. You fool. Yeah. I got him, but I had to pay for it, and I overheated. Uh, the good thing is that we got some backup here from the team. Going to switch to heat again. Is he dead already? Uh, not quite. And we are hot again. Can you please unjam? Okay. So the legs are pretty critical now. I need to play it safe. I guess I'll leave them for, for my team. Going to support here if I can. They won't see me coming. So I hope that the quick draw is dead already. And it seems so since my team is focusing... Yeah, something else. Okay, we're switching flanks again. Good. That worked out fine so far. Phoenix Hawk. Is that the one from before? I don't want to engage the Kodiak, of course, because I have that critical lax here. Kodiak seems to be dead. I can't decide really which one I should focus. There we go. That's the Phoenix Hawk. And I'm stuck a bit. He's dead. And I am overheated again. Oh, oh, bad spot, bad spot. Okay, I should re-override here. So, apparently I am very eager to shoot all of my weapons. And uh, I need to make sure that I won't overheat in such a bad spot again. Ah, oh, that's, that's a shame. I, I wanted that kill on that cicada. But anyway, our flanking worked out. I guess we just won through the objective, which is fine for me. Uh, let's have a look at the end score. Let's see. So uh, around 400 damage, not a crazy amount, but still decent. I think we did our job. One kill, one kill of damage dealt, and four components destroyed. Was quite a good round, I would say. And uh, let's have a look at the overall damage score. Wasn't that crazy? Yeah, a lot of medium damage here. 400 and stuff. One exceptional 662. Yeah, I'm quite happy with that. So that was your daily dose for today. That was the Cicada with the ECM and the Ultra AC5. And I hope you liked the video. And if you did, don't forget to leave a rating or subscribe to the channel if you want. And if you want to support the channel, have a look at the description down below. There's a link to my Patreon page and there you can support me with a bit of money to keep me going doing what I love. And I hope to see you on the battlefield. Goodbye.